After Asia, Africa is the second largest and most populous continent in the world. It is also the epicenter of scientific advancements that have altered how researchers see the history of humanity. New discoveries are being made in areas every day that are both interesting and disturbing because they cannot be explained. Here are a few disturbing African findings that nobody knows how to explain. Number 15. The Lost City of Heracleion the lost city of Heracleion was discovered in 2001 by French underwater archaeologist Franck Gaudio. The city was located off the coast of Egypt, near the city of Alexandria. Heracleione was once a thriving port city, but it was destroyed by a tsunami in the 8th century AD and was eventually swallowed up by the Mediterranean Sea. The city was buried under sand and silt for centuries, lost to the sea around 1,200 years ago, and was only rediscovered in recent years. In its heydays, Heracleione was a major trading center, and it was home to a large population. The city was also a religious center, and it was home to many temples and shrines. The discovery of Heracleione was a major archaeological find, because a lot of people argued that this city was only another legend and myth passed down through generations. Contrarily, using state-of-the-art technology, archaeologists discovered, mapped, and excavated the ancient city of Heraclan. The city has yielded a wealth of artifacts, including statues, jewelry, and coins. The city has also provided valuable insights into the history of ancient Egypt. The discovery of Heracleione has been a major tourist attraction and the city is now open to the public and visitors can explore the ruins of the ancient city. The city is a reminder of the lost civilizations of the past and it is a fascinating place to visit. Archaeologists have found a wealth of artifacts in the city, including statues, coins, and pottery. They have also found the remains of temples, palaces, and other buildings. Some of the most notable finds in Heracleion include a statue of the god Amun-Ra, which is over 10 feet tall, a collection of coins that date back to the 7th century BC, the remains of a temple that was dedicated to the god Osiris, and a large number of pottery vessels that were used for trade. Without a doubt, the discovery of Heracleion has been a major archaeological breakthrough, helping to fill in the gaps in our knowledge of ancient Egypt and providing new insights into the culture and history of this fascinating civilization. Number 14. Australopithecus de Yeremita. Have you heard about Lucy? If you haven't, Lucy is a group of several hundred preserved bone fragments called AL2881, sometimes referred to as Lucy or Dinkinesh, and it represents about 40% of a female Australopithecus afarensis hominid. It was found in 1974 by Cleveland Museum of Natural History paleoanthropologist Donald Johansson at the Hadar site in the Awash Valley of the Afar Triangle in Ethiopia. Early Australopithecine Lucy specimen dates to about 3.2 million years old. That's, by the way, about Lucy. Researchers now think they have uncovered what is regarded as Lucy's neighbor. It's called Lucy's neighbor because it was found not too far from Lucy. The new fossil hominid species, known as Australopithecus deiremida, was uncovered by an international scientific team under the direction of Professor Johannes Haile Selassie at the Waranso Mila site in the central region of Afar, Ethiopia. The worldwide scientific publication on the finding of an Australopithecus fossil raises the topic of early hominid origin and evolution in Africa to a new level. The central region of Afar, about 50 kilometers north of Hadar and 520 kilometers northeast of the capital Addis Ababa, is where the scientific team, headed by Professor Hale Selassie, discovered several fossil remains including upper and lower jaws and a collection of teeth. These discoveries were made at the sites of Bortel and White Italeta in Waranso Mil. The discovery shows that more than three million years ago, several separate hominin species, which are more closely related to humans than to chimpanzees, roamed eastern Africa. Around the same time, a third species called Kenyanthropus platyops lived in what is now Kenya. Number 13. Microcebus jonahi. Researchers have discovered a new species of lemur in Madagascar, named the Microcebus jonahi. It is the smallest known primate in the world, weighing just 29 grams. The lemur was found in the rainforests of northern Madagascar and is described as having a long tail, large ears, and a brown coat. The discovery of this new species is a significant addition to the biodiversity of Madagascar, which is home to a wide variety of unique animals. The Microcebus jonahi is a newly discovered species of lemur that is is the smallest known primate in the world. 
It was discovered in 2005 in the rainforests of Madagascar by a team of scientists led by Dr. Andrian Ratsimbazafi of the University of Antananarivo. The lemur is named after Dr. Jonas Rakatuarisen, a Malagasy primatologist who was instrumental in its discovery. The Microcebus yonahi is a small nocturnal primate with a long tail. It is about the size of a large mouse, with a head and body length of about 3 inches and a tail length of about 4 inches. The fur of the Microcebus yonahi is brown or reddish brown, with a white belly. The eyes are large and black, and the ears are large and rounded. The Microcebus jonahi is a solitary animal that lives in trees. It is an insectivore, and its diet consists of insects, spiders, and other small invertebrates. The lemur is active at night, and it uses its long tail for balance as it moves through the trees. As beautiful and fascinating as this discovery is, the Microcebus jonahi is a critically endangered species. Its population has declined significantly due to habitat loss and hunting. The lemur is found only only in a small area of rainforest in Madagascar, and its habitat is being destroyed by logging and agriculture. The lemur is also hunted for its meat and fur. The discovery of the lemur highlights the importance of protecting the rainforests of Madagascar, which are home to many other unique and endangered species. The Microcebus jonahi is a fascinating creature, and its discovery is a reminder of the importance of protecting the world's biodiversity worldwide. Number 12. Aten, the Lost Golden City. In Egypt, archaeologists have discovered a 3,000-year-old city that dates back to the reign of Pharaoh Amenhotep III. A team of archaeologists discovered this city in Egypt, near the modern-day city of Luxor. The city, which is believed to have been built during the 18th dynasty of Egypt, was once a thriving metropolis with a population of over 20,000 people. It was once thought to be the largest administrative and industrial settlement in that era. The city was discovered in September 2020, when a team of archaeologists were searching for the mortuary temple of King Tutankhamun. However, they were surprised to find the city instead. The discovery of Aten is a major archaeological find, and it provided researchers with new insights into the history of ancient Egypt. The city is believed to have been home to a variety of important buildings, including temples, palaces, and workshops. It is also thought to have been a major center of trade and commerce. The archaeologists have found a number of valuable artifacts at the site, including colored pottery, jewelry, and mud mud bricks bearing the seals of Amenhotep III. They are continuing to excavate the site, and they hope to uncover even more treasures in the future. The discovery of Aten is sure to generate a great deal of interest among archaeologists and historians alike. It is a reminder of the rich history of ancient Egypt, as well as provides us with new insights into the lives of the people who lived there. Number 11. Rainforest atop Mount Liko. Young people nowadays love to explore new technologies in vogue. Presumably, you've probably had to gaze prettily into your laptop screen in the hopes of finding unexplored territory on Google Maps. In 2018, one man's desire caused him to do just that, whereupon he made a special discovery. That man is Dr. Julian Bayless. Under the direction of Dr. Julian Bayless, a group of 28 explorers set off on a long trek to a virgin forest in Mozambique that he found on Google Maps. Mind you, he needed professionals who were up to the task, so this was definitely not a regular team. It took two years to assemble the 28-person team of biologists, logisticians, plant experts, and researchers that Dr. Bayless needed for his maiden mission. Dr. Wilcox and his crew had to climb a 125-meter tall cliff because they needed to access this extremely unusual rainforest. He was certain that not a single rainforest existed that had not been disturbed by people. Without a doubt, the bulk of known life forms can be found in rainforests, which are the planet's oldest living ecosystems. Additionally, they store carbon for a longer period of time than any other biological system. Nearly all tropical rainforests have historical human traces, despite the fact that some of them are millions of years old. Dr. Bayless made the wise decision to contact experienced climbers to start the mission moving in the proper direction to make their mission achievable. Professional climbers Mike Robertson and Jules Lines are regarded as the best in the United Kingdom. The climbers carefully demonstrated how to get up and down without losing a limb as they carefully mounted the rock face above the scientists' base camp. They attached two ropes ropes from the top down to the bottom and taught the team how to climb. The team's experience learning to climb up a 125-meter cliff in the jungle was indeed thrilling and frightening. 
Dr. Wilcock and his colleague Doug traveled for two days to reach the woodland bedrock in order to study the soil layers like a history book, since they knew that Dr. Bayless had made a discovery that was precious and in its purest form. They were able to learn about every forest fire that occurred and every plant that flourished there. In addition, there were countless caterpillar droppings all over the place. Their excrement fell like dry, gentle rain. The amount of life that is concealed from the rest of the planet up there is mind-boggling. A variety of new species were found by the researchers, including a shrew, a butterfly, snakes, frogs, toads, and even a snub-nosed rat. The crew also discovered some antique pots that were partially buried close to the source of the mainstream. And guess what the neighborhood at the mountain's base claimed? According to legend, nobody has ever reached the mountain's top. Overall, this discovery is astounding. Who knows what else is hiding somewhere just waiting to be discovered? Number 10. Angola Teton Atomaster Researchers have discovered a new species of giant dinosaur in Angola, named the Angola Teton Atomaster. The dinosaur lived approximately 90 million years ago and was about 15 meters long and weighed about 15 tons. It was a herbivore and had a long neck and tail. The discovery of the Angola Teton Atomaster is significant because it is the first new species of dinosaur to be discovered in Angola in over 50 years. It is also the largest dinosaur ever found in Angola. The discovery of the Angola Teton Atomaster provides new insights into the diversity of dinosaurs that lived in Africa during the Mesozoic era. Angola Teton was a herbivore, and its long neck and tail helped it to reach high into the trees for food. It was a slow-moving animal, and its powerful legs helped it to travel long distances in search of food. Angola Teton was a member of the Titanosaur family, which includes some of the largest dinosaurs ever known. Other members of the Titanosaur family include Argentinosaurus, Patagotitan, and Dreadnoughtus. Angola Teton was discovered in 2004 by a team of paleontologists from the University of Lisbon. The fossils were found in the Angolan town of Namibi. The name Angola Teton means Angolan Titan, and Adamaster means unconquerable. Angola Teton is the first giant dinosaur to be discovered in Angola. It is an important discovery because it provides new information about the dinosaurs that lived in Africa during the Cretaceous period. Angola Teton is a fascinating creature, and its discovery has helped to shed light on the world of dinosaurs and the incredible diversity of life that once existed on Earth. Number 9. Lake Mega Chad. Astonishing new evidence from experts indicated that a sizable body of water once existed beneath the huge Sahara Desert. This discovery has advanced our understanding of the planet's prehistoric landscapes and is nothing short of a geological marvel. Ted Maxwell, a geologist at the National Air and Space Museum, and his group were in charge of the research. The geologists were able to produce an astonishingly clear image of the ancient lake, which was more than 250,000 years old by combining images of wind-blown sediments formed by running water with bedrock visible by radar under the desert sand. What's even more amazing is how big this lake actually is when it's at its largest. It was bigger than many contemporary nations, covering more than 42,000 square miles. The old lake was 810 feet above sea level, and a smaller lake that covered 18,600 square miles rose to around 623 feet. For comparison, the smaller lake was around the size of a tiny nation like Costa Rica. It is amazing how an African lake that has dried up is connected to the future of the entire continent. Lake Chad, which formerly covered an area of 137 square miles, has been significantly reduced in size as a result of humanity exploiting it as a supply of fresh water. However, something genuinely extraordinary could still be found by the researchers concerning this former lake. Millions of tons of dust, which also contains other fertilizers and rich nutrients like phosphorus, are transported annually across the Atlantic to nourish the soils of South America. This dust, which comes from the dried-up remnants of Lake Chad, aids in replenishing the essential elements that are regularly washed away by severe rain in the deep jungle. Can you believe that a lake that long ago vanished was responsible for the fertility of the Amazon rainforest? Who would have imagined that the Amazon rainforest on a foreign continent could be so greatly affected by a dried-up lake in Africa? Indeed, Africa is a wonderfully remarkable continent, but it is also on the verge of disintegrating if we are not careful. Number 8. Old Meteorite Impact Site 
A team of researchers from the University of the Witwatersrand in South Africa discovered a 2.3 billion year old meteorite impact site in Botswana. The crater, which is about 160 kilometers in diameter, is one of the largest and oldest impact craters on Earth. The researchers believe that the impact occurred during the Proterozoic era, a time when the Earth was still very young. The impact would have caused a massive explosion, throwing up huge amounts of debris into the atmosphere. This debris would have rained down on the Earth Earth, causing widespread destruction. The impact would also have had a significant impact on the Earth's climate. The dust and debris thrown up into the atmosphere would have blocked out the sun, causing a global cooling event. This cooling event would have had a devastating impact on life on Earth, killing off many plants and animals. The discovery of this impact crater is significant because it provides new insights into the history of the Earth. It shows that the Earth has been bombarded by meteorites for billions of years, and that these impacts have had a major impact on the evolution of life on Earth. The researchers hope that further study of the crater will help them to learn more about the impact that it had on the Earth's climate and environment. They also hope that it will help them to better understand the history of meteorite impacts on Earth. The discovery of this impact crater is a reminder of the power of nature and the dangers that we face from space, as well as a reminder of the importance of studying the Earth's past in order to better understand its future. Number 7. Oldest Stone Age Tools The Old Owen Stone Tool industry is the earliest that is known. These artifacts, which date back as long as 2.5 million years, represent an important turning point in the evolution of humans since they are the oldest examples of cultural behavior. Old Owen Tools were created by Homo habilis a Homo sapiens progenitor. Oldowan artifacts were first found at Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania and have since been found in several locations throughout eastern, central, and southern Africa. The earliest of them is a site in Ghana, Ethiopia. Choppers are an example of old-fashioned technology, and stone cores were used to make choppers, which have a sharpened edge created by removing flakes from part of the surface. Scientists have discovered this new evidence that our ancestors used some of the oldest stone tools ever discovered to butcher hip and pound plant material. This discovery provides the earliest examples of the Oldowan Toolkit, a crucial Stone Age invention, as well as the earliest proof of exceptionally massive animal consumption by hominins. Around 2.9 million years ago, the tools were employed in Kenya near the shores of Lake Victoria, an African body of water. A pair of enormous molars from the evolutionary relative of the human species, Paranthropus, were also discovered during excavations at the site, known as Nyayanga, which is situated on the Homa Peninsula in western Kenya. Scientists from the National Museums of Kenya, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, and Queen's College conducted this groundbreaking new study that would go down in history. The question of who created the first Stone Age advancements, known as the Oldowan Toolkit, is now raised in light of its findings. Three different kinds of stone tools, flakes, hammer stones, and cores, are included in the Oldowan Toolkit. According to the wear patterns, the stone from the Homa Peninsula Basin, an ancient butchery site, were used to treat a variety of materials and substances, including plants, meat, bone marrow, and animals. Number 6. Mysterious Cave Art Gilf Kabir, a sandstone plateau near the borders of Egypt, Libya, and Sudan, is home to mysterious cave art. The area is one of the hottest and driest on Earth, with temperatures reaching up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and little to no rainfall. Despite the harsh conditions, Gilf Kabir is a popular archaeological site due to its collection of prehistoric cave paintings. One of the most intriguing caves is the Cave of Beasts, which is covered with hundreds of human handprints and illustrations of animals such as giraffes, elephants, gazelles, and ostriches. The cave paintings are notable for their horrific theme, which often depicts animals swallowing or spitting out humans. Researchers are also puzzled by the adult hands stenciled near the beast illustrations, as well as the smaller hands that do not match human fingerprints. Some believe that the small handprints were made by aliens, while others believe that they were made by lizards. The mystery of the cave art remains unsolved. Have you ever visited a country in Africa? If so, share your experience in the comments below. Now, it's time for subscribers pick. Look closely at the picture. Are these statues molded into the desert sand or they could have been buried in the desert? How did they even get there? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section. Number five, ERG Chech 002. A mind-blowing discovery was made in the barren depths of the Sahara Desert that has scientists around the world buzzing with excitement, curiosity, and much wonder. It is a piece of an embryonic asteroid that existed before Earth was even born. 
Known as ERG Chech 002, this ancient meteorite offers a glimpse into planetary formation during the early days of the solar system. This volcanic space rock is unlike anything that has ever been seen before, and it is the oldest known lava that has ever fallen to Earth. Weighing in at about 70 pounds, the stones contain stunning crystals that have scientists drooling with anticipation. According to a study published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, this time capsule from the infancy of the solar system is is extremely precious, and scientists are thrilled at the opportunity to examine it. The meteorite, which was discovered in May 2020 in Algeria's ERG Chechdun Sea, is broken down, to say the least, but still holds valuable information about its protoplanet parent body. Analysis of elements within the rock, like magnesium and aluminum, revealed that it crystallized about 4.5 billion years ago, making it the oldest known piece of a crust ever found. But there's more. The meteorite the meteorite's unusual composition is so interesting. It is 58% silicon dioxide, which means that its parent body had a crust made of andesite rock. This type of rock is distinct from the more common basalt rock found in volcanically active regions on Earth. To connect the dots, acidic crusts were likely abundant in asteroids and protoplanets during the solar system's early days, but have become increasingly rare over time. This means that the earliest protoplanets that populated the solar system were either a part of larger bodies or were destroyed by collisions with other rocks. The team estimates that ERG Chech 002 broke apart from its parent body decades after the protoplanet's crust cooled and crystallized. This piece of information has given the world amazing new details about the evolving embryos of planets during a time before Earth existed. With each new revelation, we gain a better understanding of the universe's formation and the remarkable journey that has led to the world we know today. Number 4. Shingopana songwensis, a new species of gigantic, long-necked sauropod dinosaur has been discovered in Tanzania. The dinosaur, named Shingopana songwensis, lived 70 to 100 million years ago and was closely related to titanosaurs from South America. The fossils were discovered in the Songwe region of the Great Rift Valley in southwestern Tanzania and excavated by scientists affiliated with the Rukwa Rift Basin Project, and the study was published in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology. Shingopana was a large dinosaur, estimated to have been up to 60 feet long and weighing up to 20 tons. It had a long neck, a small head, and a long tail. Its teeth were small and peg-like, which suggests that it was an herbivore. The discovery of Shingopana is significant because it provides new evidence of the diversity of dinosaurs that lived in Africa during the Mesozoic era. It also suggests that there was more interaction between dinosaurs from Africa and South America than previously thought. The study's lead author, Eric Gorskak, said that the discovery of Shingopana was indeed a major addition to our understanding of the dinosaurs that lived in Africa, and that the discovery of this new species would provide new insights into the evolutionary relationships between titanosaurs from Africa and South America. Number 3. Homo Nalidi a startling find regarding an early hominid suggests that larger brains may not necessarily indicate greater intellect after all. Despite having hands and feet that resembled those of modern humans, Homo nalidi, a hominin discovered in the Rising Star cave system in Africa's Cradle of Humankind in 2013, had a brain that was just one-third the size of a modern human, a trait that experts had previously attributed to a sign of the species' lower intelligence than its Homo sapien relatives. Homo nalidi is a now extinct kind of prehistoric human dating from the Middle Pleistocene, which is about 335,000 to 236,000 years ago. At least 15 distinct individuals are represented by the 1,550 specimens from the initial discovery. In addition to corresponding matches and similarities with contemporary Homo, they have some traits with ancient Australopithecus and early Homo. The hominin fossils were discovered by cavers Rick Hunter and Stephen Tucker on September 13, 2013, while they were exploring the rising star cave system in the cradle of humankind, South Africa. They went back to the chamber on September 24, 2013 and took pictures, which they gave to South African paleoanthropologists Lee Rogers Berger and Pedro Boshoff on October 1. These two cavers, out of curiosity and desperation, successfully managed to penetrate a previously undiscovered chamber through an extremely narrow path. 
Thousands of fossilized bones were seen scattered throughout the ground, and these were later determined to be new species in 2015. According to archaeological findings, Homo naledi, a prehistoric human species with a head like that of a chimpanzee, may have utilized fires to prepare food and navigate the dimness of underground caverns, considering having a brain only one-third the size of ours. Number 2. Africa Divides a new ocean is going to form as the African continent splits in half. Yes, you heard correctly. Since 2005, tectonic plate movements in Ethiopia have been separating the larger Nubian tectonic plate from the smaller Somalian plate. Without the need for human intervention, this continent is changing. Since South America and Africa were separated into separate continents hundreds of millions of years ago, this occurrence has not been seen. Have you ever thought about what this will do to the African continent and to the world? This could make Ethiopia and Uganda, two nations that are currently landlocked, suddenly have access to coasts, opening up new opportunities for trade and industry. Such dramatic and geographical shifts could be brought on by rising magma beneath the layers. In either case, the result of all these rifts will be a tiny East African continent. The world as we know it could be revolutionized by this revelation, but it won't happen overnight. Researchers estimate that it will be another 5 to 10 million years before the African continent entirely splits. So, while we prepare for this shift, we are forced to imagine how the world will be by that time. Unfortunately, it is a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence that our generation may not be fortunate enough to see. Number 1. Oldest Known Species of Homo Sapiens In Morocco, researchers have discovered fossils of the oldest known species of Homo sapiens, dating back approximately 300,000 years. At an archaeological site near the Atlantic coast, finds of skull, face, and jawbones identified as being from early members of our species have been dated to thousands of years ago. That indicates that Homo sapiens could have been in existence more than 100,000 years earlier than thought. Most researchers have placed the origins of our species in East Africa about 200,000 years ago. The finds which are published do not mean that Homo sapiens originated in North Africa. Instead, they suggest that the species' earliest members evolved all across the continent. The fossil remains of Homo sapiens were found at a site in Jebel Irhud, Morocco. This is 100,000 years older than previously discovered fossils of Homo sapiens that have been securely dated. This marks the first discovery of such fossils in North Africa and widens the cradle of mankind to encompass all of Africa. Previous finds were in South or East Africa. The fossils, including a partial skull and a lower jaw, belong to five different individuals, including three young adults, an adolescent, and a child estimated to be eight years old. Stone tools, animal bones, and evidence of fire were also found within the same layer at the site. But what the researchers found to be most remarkable about these fossils is that they capture a moment in time of evolution. The facial features of the skull look like a modern human, but the brain case is very elongated and archaically characteristic of early humans. There has been increasing evidence that the modern human lineage diverged from Neanderthals and Denisovans 500,000 years ago, making us close relatives rather than direct descendants. Before this discovery, it was believed that the early modern humans we evolved from were in Africa and looked very similar to modern humans. But what happened in between that time? I guess more future discoveries would reveal more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.